Oh no, I don't have my transitions anymore either. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I didn't set that up. Is it? Hang on, let me see if I can find it now. Um. Okay, let me see if this works. No, nope, that's not quite it. <laughs> why did why did it look like that? Oh my goodness. Wowie. I'm still <laughs> a man. Uh, I'm still struggling with my stuff. Okay. Okay, so we want to use track me. Clean file side by side. Aha! Okay. I think I fixed it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I, I did not set up my transition. <laughs> Hi! Also, um... Okay, I mean, you and VeChan already know this, but for Meowy and for uh, anyone else who is here lurking or is going to watch the YouTube VOD later. Uh, I had to completely reset my computer. So, um, I did not save my OBS profile correctly, so that also means that my uh, OBS profile got wiped and I had to redo all of it. So, I had to redo all of it from scratch. I think it's mostly okay. Uh, the only thing I'm iffy on is the mic matching the video, so if you feel that the mic is desynced from the video, let me know so I can work on it, but I think, I think it's okay. <laughs> um, uh, part of that wipe, also, my Clip Studio profile also didn't get properly, it's a little, is it desynced, um, where it's slower or faster than the camera, the image. Audio is faster, okay. Let me know how that is. Um, I'll just talk here for a little bit and then you can tell me whether or not that is better or could be better. <laughs> uh, the other part of um, redoing my whole system is my CSP profile also didn't get saved correctly. Uh, so I don't have to start. Could be better? Okay. Let's 
Do Let's try that. Um, so the other part of that is uh, good song, right? So the other part of that is I do I did have an older profile save, so I don't have to completely redo my loadout. Um, as you can see, it is mostly the same, um, but the loadout is from 2021, so it is missing all the brushes that I have picked up since then. And I had also done some cleanup and reorganization on my brushes. Uh, yeah. Like, off in what kind of way? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna try it again. You think it sounds pretty good? Okay. That's Dan from the other room. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's a, uh, I, I had reorganized my brushes since 2021. Um, and then again, like I had put in a bunch of new brushes. So today we're going to spend stream watching me fix my brushes and reorganize them. And honestly, I had th was thinking about doing that anyway, uh, a couple days ago. So now I really have to. Um, what I also would like to do is go over the brushes that I use because I, I think some of you were interested in them. You're just using G-Pad only. <laughs> I will be going over uh, a lot of my favorite brushes and then I'll also, I'm going to try out a lot of these. I, I don't want to say I'm going to try out all of them that are in the program. That might happen, but um, I'm going to be trying out a lot of them if you guys are interested in the ones that I'm trying out and I can find the asset store ID number for them. I'll share that so you can go download them. Uh, most of these are free brushes. Some of them I paid for with Clippy and then there's some that I actually bought outside of the asset store that I really like and I'll be, I actually use those ones so I'll be sharing that. You're wrong? It, like how much off? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want me to do? Clap again. Do it one more time. I feel like still, still really ahead. Like the audio still had. Like the audio still had? Yeah. It's at um, over a half second. Do you want me to do six? Point six. I hope I don't have to like restart it for the changes to go through. I didn't think it was like that. Okay. still off. I don't know if it's if you do because the noise is still like well ahead. So I almost wonder if it's is it well ahead in a way that hmm. Is there a way to restart? Like no, there's not. Without just restarting the stream. The thing is, like you and I have tested this before. Um, Okay. 
is this supposed to be minus, right? I'm pretty sure. You know, I guess, no, maybe it's not minus. They did positive 400. Positive 400? Yeah. Maybe I've Okay. Ready? Okay. That looks good, actually. Try it all the time. I don't know about it. Yeah. I steered you for a negative. A negative delay would be a positive. So I'm okay. dumb. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fixed now. Um, but again, if you guys see... Um, a desync, let me know. Uh, but maybe we fixed it this time. Okay. <laughs> Stream is going really well today. Uh, okay. You can restart your stream with the mod. <laughs> you restart your stream with the mod. I'll just, I'll edit it if I feel like it. Um, though, then I have to do a whole intro over again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, I actually do have the basic G pen here. I, I like it a lot for lining. Um, it is my my clean line brush of choice. I'm just gonna head right into the brushes. Uh, so I have let's see here. I messed with my sensitivity a little bit because I've been having this problem where I'm pushing down too hard on my pens. Yeah, I did. So I actually, um... Is it, is it up the sensitivity? I made my tip feel softer so I don't have to press down as hard. Anyway, so yeah, I use the G pen for inking. Um, I have my stabilizations down here. I usually use a 0.4 because I, I switched mine to. Oh, you can't see it very well because of um, my person. I switched to a bar graph. Let me see if I can pull this up to show you guys. I switched to a bar graph stabilization here. No, it's fine, Aya. Um, and then I have each of these values mapped out. So here's my settings. Um, each of these bars corresponds here. So I have uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, and 40 um, for my stabilization numbers. So depending on if I want like really loose lines, I'll have 0 to 10 stabilization. If I want really nice smooth lines, I'll go up to 40. Um, I actually think... I'm trying to think if I have a... I might have... Customize my G-Pen. I don't even remember if I did that. I thought I customized it, but maybe I didn't. Um, I did customize. This is my customized sketch pen. There's nothing terribly interesting about it. It is a G pen that I have um, turned down the opacity on. So when I want to do sketch work, it just lays itself over. Um, for me, that was the best way for me to sketch. Uh, so I was usually just taking the G pen and reducing the opacity. And then um, I also switched the anti-aliasing anti -ali uh, down a little bit so it's a little fuzzier. Um, Instead of just using, because the pencil brush, I felt the other rough sketch brushes um, were a bit too uh, you could see too much. I don't know the best way to describe it. I would press too hard and the color would layer deposit too easily and then I couldn't, it, it was hard for me to get a nice sketch going. So yeah, I just duplicated the, the, the G pen 
made the uh, turn the opacity down to what I like um, and then just made a brush out of it <laughs> since I use this you know I sketch every time I draw something and it's just easier to have the brush ready to go the preset ready to go rather than add it to my G pen every single time <laughs> um, I do the Millie pen what do we, I use the Millie pen often when I am writing my own text with my own handwriting. I'll do that. Because I often letter in my own handwriting. Noisy ink brush. Um, I was trying to find a nice rough brush and I was trying this one out. It, it's not actually the one I use. Um, hopefully, there's definitely one that I know for sure that I use and the other one it's in Korean so hopefully I can find it again through all my downloads today. <laughs> uh, but Noisy Ink Brush is not one that I really use. I've been debating on if I want to keep all of my brushes uh, in my program or just only have the ones that I actually use. It's hard because it's like, oh, it's my brush collection. Maybe I'll use that brush someday. The truthfully, I'm not probably going to use that brush someday. So I might just start relegating some of these somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe I'll have um, a releg relegation. Brushes I don't use. So yeah, usually, um, I guess we can talk a little bit about my organization because I'm going to start, when I start bringing in brushes, like reorganizing, so I'll just go over that really quick. Uh, the way I organize brushes is by how often I use them. Uh, so this top one up here, because you can move these around, by the way, uh, and make your own little clusters, groups. So this top one is where I keep my line brushes and my favorite coloring brushes. Um, so the brushes that I use the most often, I usually keep up here and then I only have to switch between the categories. I will be adding another category here in a minute. Um, so it's just less work for me to have to go find the brushes that I use often to just keep them here. Um, so you'll see me start doing that. Turn up pen. I don't know if I really... Hmm. This one's tapered. I guess it does technically have more of a taper than like the G pen, but not, not really. Sketch brush Garo. What's this one? Oh, okay. I think this is again when I was trying out new rough brushes. Because uh, when I do colored sketches, I like the line work to be rough. Um, I've kind of switched into liking the rough brush when I'm trying to do nice painterly looking drawings too. Um, that's kind of new for me. I'm really bad at painterly style, but I'd like to get better at it. How do I feel about this Garo brush? I mean, it could be okay. Let me add in another color here. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't blend. I probably won't be using that. Ooh, the Photoshop round brush. Somebody made this for CSP. It's a very important brush. Let's move this, uh, let's move this up here. Come on. I'm gonna get rid of that Garo brush. Or do I have a... Do I just make a reject... Reject brush? Do I just make a reject brush? I don't know why it liquefies in its own section. And go with these blenders. There we go. Okay, then I will let me show you guys, I guess, how to make a new section. Um, 
CSP, it's not hard, but I feel like it's not very intuitive of how you move brushes around and make new groupings. So um, let's do this. I'm not going to use this noisy ink brush. So what I'm going to do is you can do this two different ways. And I guess I will show you guys both ways. Uh, you can take, so you have to take these noisy ink brush and you can drag it up here to this main hub bar, right? These groupings. It'll start a new group. It just has a noisy ink brush in it though. So you can take all of these brushes I'm not going to use so far. Uh, so the turnip pen, the tapered pen, and the sketch brush garo. I'm just going to take this and move it in here. And so they're going to go make a new group with the noisy ink brush. And then in order to change the group name, you right click subtool group settings, and then you can change the subtool. So I'll put uh, reject brushes. Um, and then in order to, I don't want this to be here because I'm not going to use them. This is again where I keep all of my most used brushes. I'm going to move it to the bar and I'm going to probably move it out of the way. So I'm probably going to move it under here. So now it's on the bar, right? So the other way to do this is, um, I want to keep these pixel pens, so we'll just keep those there. Uh, what's this one? I'm going to move it. I don't know how I feel about that one either. Kind of got a nice feel to it, um, but we'll, just, we'll pretend with this one. So the other way to make a grouping on the, because I keep all my brushes here on this sidebar, um, is to take it and just drag it over the sidebar. Um, It'll make its own grouping like this. It's here. You can rename it. Same thing. Get more brushes to it. If you don't want it there anymore, you just, again, click it and you can drag it into. Sorry, you don't click. You, you click it if you want to move it around. Sorry. So you click it if you want to move it into a different position on your bar. If you want to merge this brush into another grouping, you have to take this, physically move the brush here and I'm going to move it into the group of brushes I don't use. It is going to make its own grouping inside of here in order to get rid of that, move it into this section here. And now it's gone because it's in with all these brushes. So it's, like I said, it's not super intuitive. Once you start doing it, you're like, oh, okay, I understand. But like initially it's a little, a little weird. Um, how was this tool like? Okay, it's got a rough running color. Can't say I really like that either. Let's see, how does it blend? That doesn't really blend either. Okay. What I wish you could do is like have this open, like have multiple little brush windows open, but you can't do that either. Or at least I don't think you can. I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. Hey, welcome to the focus group. coloring brushes. Actually, let's take her in the line group because I'm going to add in some brushes that I know that I want. Okay, so some of the brushes that I'm moving in right now, they are from the Friendin brush pack. Um, it does cost money. It's actually pretty inexpensive for the amount of brushes you get. Like there's actually, I think over a hundred or so brushes in this pack. And I think it was it's like ten dollars. I got it on sale. It probably says something out of the hundred brushes. I only used like five of them. <laughs> but this is how you add brushes in CSP. So here's my brush. 
I have my little pack here, like these ones I'm going to add. Um, we're just going to take them and we're going to drag them into the program, put them in the brush section here. So here they are. Um, do I want any of these ones? Let's bring in the dry Dan. Um, bring in all of these. Okay. Yeah, it's when you um, have your own brushes that are outside the asset program. So these ones I download independently outside the store. You can just dra drag and drop them in. Um, for the asset store, these are the ones that I'm going to be adding into that I downloaded from the asset store. Um, that'll be a fun adventure for us to do in a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Let's go over these ones. So this is a watercolor gouache like I actually don't know what gouache is really like because I've never, I don't really do traditional art. So for me, I am looking more for how it uh, manipulates on the canvas, which I kind of like that if I wanted to get more into like painterly style. Probably wouldn't keep this on the line one. Probably move into coloring brushes. Okay, so we have Bad Brad, which is a dry brush. Oh, uh, no, not with, not with that texture. Um, this one, this Bad Brad could be okay though. Maybe. I don't mind rough brushes that obviously leave holes in here, but I don't like th that when you have um, a texture file on it, you can't fill in those holes. So that's high snaggle. <laughs> that's kind of a not what I really like. So. And you need to choose? What am I choosing? So Teak's Folly, I have been actually using a lot for line work um, this last month. So I actually do like this one a lot and I will be keeping it. Um, I don't know the best way to show the texture here. So it is a rough brush. Um, it is the type of rough brush that I have to go over maybe two or three times to get rid of the white specks if I want to. Um, so I will, I will be keeping that. Move Teak's Folly probably here. Megara from Hercules, May Marion from Robin Hood, or Wendy from Peter Pan. Um, a lot of the three, Megara would be my favorite. So I would pick her. But Wendy's really classic. <laughs> so. It's done? Okay.
What's Dry Dan like? Oh, Dry Dan's not that bad. What's Dry Dan less dry? I don't know, they're both pretty, both pretty similar, actually. Mega Ablart. <laughs> okay, okay, let me, uh... I'm gonna add... Oh no, hang on. To bring over my program. Hang on, I'm sorry. I need to bring over my um, management program so I can add your request in. Give me just a second. program and it got wiped too. I I saved over I like moved the entire thing over and I thought it would save you know everything. Um I don't know if Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, is, that is true. You are at the top of the list now. <laughs> okay, let me let me mess around with it really quick because that's gonna. Oh boy, guys. 
Oh boy. Not only was it my management program, it had like all of my um, projects that I was working on and like ideas for later. Yeah, I can check my reading history. What, what do you want me to check on it? Okay, Snaggle, I'm gonna make a note for myself. Oh, that's true. Um, I am gonna make a note for myself that you want Mega Rebel Art. I won't um, finish 3D until your sketch is done, Mega Rebel Art sketch. Uh, and then we'll do it on Tuesday, your sketch request. Um, cause I want to do the sketch request the last day of every month. I've never had one before, so you'll be the first one. So do that on Tuesday and then I will <laughs> redo my management program, uh, to see if maybe I can salvage it. <laughs> um, uh... I don't know where it's safe because I, I actually so snip is or it's not snip tape is a really simple program um, I'll show it to you guys again like it's a really simple pro program it looks like this uh, this is the how you do it. You just like throw text programs in here. Um, there's themes, different colors. Uh, I've never really figured out how to customize the themes, but whatever. So I use it... <laughs> Making suspicious noises! <laughs> so I use Tave to keep track of the projects I'm working on, um, future ideas, and when I say pro I'll have a multiple projects, I'll have like commissions, um, designs and group projects that I'm on uh, for Patreon. I had them broken down by month. And then uh, other projects I want to keep track of. So when I do the Magical Girl project, I was keeping track of it in there. I mean, at least I haven't really started that one. I'm going to in March, but, uh, but I had this giant list of future ideas so I wouldn't forget them um, and now I've forgotten them because it is deleted. <laughs> uh, I also had, was keeping track of stuff that I was, like personal projects that I was working on on and off so I'll have to see if I can salvage something of that. Oh man I'm finding out so many great things. You can go back to the brushes now. <laughs> Dredan. I think Dredan's actually pretty nice. There's Dredan and less Dredan. Which I don't really see the point of less Dredan. Because they're pretty similar. Put that away properly. Holly Inker. I'm not sure I like that very much. Lacey Stacy though. This would be good for drawing shoelaces, obviously. Let's see if we can get a bigger look for you guys here. Um where is down in here. Down in here. Okay. Leaky Lauren. Hmm. 
Uh, I can't say I'm really a fan of that either. And then oil pastel soft. That could also be interesting. I might put it with um, these oil brushes down here. To be pencil. I know a lot of people tend to use pencil brushes for sketching and just again I don't really like them for that because as you can see here this is fun doodle canvas yeah <laughs> uh, as you can see with this pencil brush here it just when I go over a couple times it just becomes a solid line and uh, I, I want my sketches to look a little bit more sketchy than that so but it can go with the pencils an acrylic blender okay let me um let me get some colors down here I, I i would like to find a new blender so we have an acrylic blend blender i do it oh nope acrylic blender needs a color uh, that could be that could be okay I'll put it over and I keep my blenders and the coloring brushes Analog Albert. What's that? Oh. Interesting. This blending mode is on darken. With a watercolor edge. Okay. I can't say that's really for me either, so. Put it back there. Um, go through these <laughs> millions of downloads. So these are all the brushes that I had downloaded over the last uh, year and a half, and um, I'm going to have to re-add Rian or Adrian, add them back in. Uh, not all of them I liked, so. <laughs> I was definitely going through a phase of trying to find, not a phase, this is the phase I'm never going out of. Uh, there, I was definitely trying to find like my favorite rough brush and like my favorite sparkle brushes, but to be fair all sparkle brushes are my favorite sparkle brushes. So let's go through and see if we can find all the rough brushes I was trying to work with. And then these ones, um, I should be able to find the asset store ID for them. It might be. I think here's when I was trying to find rough brushes.
Okay, let's try these ones first. So the other nice thing is um, once you've downloaded, so you saw that was the add the brushes into the program that haven't been added yet into the program that were just recently downloaded. Uh, so once you put them in and I open the brush list again, those won't be on there. So I don't have to worry about having double putting in duplicates. Uh, it only becomes a problem when you delete a brush and then you want to add it back in. Um, then you have to go basically, the only way I've found to really do it is to either try and find the brush from the downloads list or re-download it in the asset store and then it shows up as if it hasn't been put into your program and then put it back in. Okay. So we stopped here at Dry Dan. We're now at Derp Texture. Which I think is also not what I'm looking for. Yeah. Not what I'm looking for. What does this one do? Sometimes in the brush packs you just get a lot of brushes that you don't, you aren't going to use them for anything. What is this one? Hmm, very small. This is this a background brush? This one... This one's interesting with the edge. We change the hardness. Of the edge here. Hmm. And this one. This one's another rough brush. Ah, uh, that woof. That is does not put much down. Is this supposed to be a traditional? Okay. Crunchy G Pen. Okay, I actually liked Crunchy G Pen, but my problem is, is that it didn't use color. And there's a couple ways to get around that. Um, in the program to color the lines. Uh, that's extra time I don't care to use. E3. No. The B pen, though. I kind of remember this one liking it. Quick texture pen. Hmm. Water. This is this a blender? that. The wash brush. No. Smudger though. Smudger might be good. Or not. That's not really smudging, is it? Sand. I have a 
have a feeling I'm not gonna like a lot of these from this one pack. Here's a blender. But is it gonna blend? Does it blend like? Hmm. I don't think it's really, is it really blending? What's going on? One F's being weird. Okay. Are we really blending though? I don't know if I like that either. Worn. Huh. No. It was smooth. I feel like if I was good at painting, these might be kind of nice. I'm not going to like any of these. <laughs> liking noise ink. I'll keep that one. We have chalky. Chalky blends. I don't think it blends in the way I like. Rough edge. No, oh, I can't. All of these just start looking the same. Um, thinking about the asset store, but sometimes you find really great stuff. And then, um, ooh, no, I don't. I don't like how when I end a stroke here, you can see it here and here. Sometimes there's really great stuff in the asset store, and other times you're like, mm, it's okay. Does this pick up multiple colors? That's an interesting concept.
Why is it when I put on the eraser, the transparency one, it's just... Hmm. Is it this one I thought was? That one could be okay. This one's stabilization doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I don't think the stabilization does anything for that one. Um, oh, that's spray deviation. Okay, there's the stabilization. Paper though there at the end. Okay, let's uh fix these up really quick. So the only annoying thing here is trying to move all of these. Eighties work, yeah, it does, doesn't it? So this is the only thing about also about moving stuff is I can't just mass move things in. Oops. At least I can't mass move things in the way that I know of. Brushless. It looks ugly. Oh no! <laughs> Does it look worse than my egg tarts? Um, if you guys remember, oh, I wasn't streaming when this happened, so Dan likes Hong Kong style egg tarts, and I did learn how to make them. They're just a little time consuming with the dough, and I, I don't even make my own dough anymore, um, but I was going to make them for Lunar New Year and bring them over to his parents' house, um, also so he could eat them, and I couldn't find puff pastry, like, anywhere, um. So I tried making my own dough, and it went horribly. Uh, everything got stuck in the pan, and then when we brought them over to his parents' house, his parents took all of them. <laughs> and we're just like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> they were supposed to be like a dessert to share, and we didn't even like eat any that night, and his, his parents just took all of them. And I'm like, okay. Uh, but I told Dan I would make them again. Uh, better hopefully this time and uh, I think I did um, I think they could have used a little bit longer maybe not longer a big time I think I could have made the 
shell thinner when I was pushing the dough in because it's a little doughy in some places so I'm concerned it didn't cook as well as it should have but then I guess I overfilled the uh, the shells and it just started like <laughs> bubbling out <laughs> so I, I really couldn't leave them longer in the oven um, Let's move over to the coloring brushes because I think the line brushes are mostly figured out so we'll do the coloring brushes. Uh, Krupuk is another brush that uh, it's a whole pack that I downloaded and they're marker brushes. And when I say downloaded I bought them I paid like money. But I honestly like I love these marker brushes so much. Um, I use them a lot in my coloring um, for colored sketches and everything. I think they just have a really nice texture to them. Um, this one is, it's compared density, so that's why it has this like weird look on top of it. Uh, so what compared density does is when, uh, what's the best way to describe this? It instead of overlaying the color on top of each other i guess i can just show you guys so instead of compare density if we went to like normal that's darkened if we went to normal um, because the brush is kind of sheer you see how it's overlaying so when you do compare density it's going to try and match the density of what you already put down so you don't get those lines edges from the transparency so here it's like masking over that i'm drawing on the same layer um and a lot of watercolor brushes have this problem so when csp introduced compare density as a blending mode it really eliminated that over overlay so you don't have to worry about doing everything in one stroke you can you know stroke multiple times and it's fine so the krupik brushes I, I love them uh we have the soft airbrush and soft hardness i actually had to make a couple of custom uh airbrushes for myself it's just the default airbrush, but I changed uh, the opacity on them to what I like to use. Uh, this is a blender, because I like putting the blenders in here uh, for coloring. So Froggy Blender is pretty nice. And when you go to Transparency, I think Transparency almost works better. But you're basically using, not using a color, you're just blending the two together, or you can blend with a color. Um, but the way Froggy Blender is, is that it doesn't spread very much. So if you really want to keep the blending into a smaller area, I feel like Froggy Blender is pretty good for that. Um, she has a, I say she. The person who made it has this whole like froggy uh, brush series. And then watercolor, this is the base watercolor brush in CSP. I've been using it for textures and backgrounds, but I did get some new watercolor brushes that I like the texturing of a little bit more, and so I'm going to be adding those in. This is the watercolor blender that's also standard in the program. That I've been using a lot for blending, but I just think there could be a better um, I think there could be a better texture I think there could be a better textured watercolor blender Interesting. I forgot about this. I should use this one more.
This is the watercolor gouache like, and then this is a blender. Okay. We put this over here. Okay, let's add some watercolor tools, my watercolor brushes. Which are these ones. So these are newer watercolor brushes that I have, I don't know if discovered is the right word, that I've recently downloaded that I've been playing around with. I use them on my Ear of the Rabbit drawing. Um, but I really like this, this texturing here. They come in three different sizes. This one has a edge. You can kind of see how it gets a little bit darker on the edge. So that's really good for texture. This one does a little bit too. So this was the, this came with a, a recent update to the brush set, which was these there should be like liners. But it is a little bit more of a more controlled, so a smaller um, texture than these bigger ones. So that might be handy. I might keep them around. Okay, I feel like where am I going to put these? Okay, so we have erasers here, our own section. Maybe I should just have a whole section of just like watercolor brushes. No, I want to have a section of sparkle brushes. Um, pen, markers, other. I think that's important. I think I'm actually going to move. I kind of want to move my pencils and colored pencils in there. Maybe the oil pastel. Oil pastel here. Airbrushes. Ooh, I like these ones a lot. They make rainbow colors. Which I think is great. Um. I want the airbrushes. Unicorn, yeah. I think I want the airbrushes in here. I'll put them there.
something like that, I think. And then these gouache brushes should be mm. they should be here. And so should these texture brushes. And then I have space and bush. <laughs> These are all my cuckoo brushes. Um, let's move the cuckoo brushes also in here. And then I think I'm going to move, let's do shapes, sparkles, bush, yeah, uh, stars, oh, let's put the hollows in there too, and then we're going to put the space brushes also in here. These can go in here, and then we have... <gasps> here... Hatching. Oh. I want to get rid of these glitter brushes. Um, they take up so much. <laughs> Just sit here and delete these really quick, guys. <laughs> um, they take up way too much room. They don't look good. I thought I could use them for backgrounds or something. It just didn't work out. And there's so many, like, so let's just get rid of them. Um, this was in clothing. There, there was a lot there. Vegetation. Stars should go up in here as well as the hearts. But the rest of these can go here. I'll try and figure that out. Okay. They're in the sparkle brushes. Put that, uh, put that in the stars. 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 Heart. Sparkle. 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 Soft. Shapes is where I had my circles. Glitter across the sparkle. Shapes. Feather. Feathers, you see, we're gonna put them down there. Blood stains, also down there. Bubbles, sparkle dots, stars. 
What is this? That's more blood. Okay. All this um background sparkle okay it's called pearls wrong fix that these are brush tools these in here. Put these up in flowers. Okay, we'll put these flowers in here because they have less to move. Um, let's call this, I guess, this. Call this um, elements. These should go in here, especially with the spring tones and the pearls. Oh. Nature scene. Well, the bike elements here. Put some effect brushes in. Hopefully those aren't duplicates. I don't think they are, but <laughs> we'll see. I don't think they are though. You can do it, program. I believe in you. that. Yasa, hi! How you doing? 
Ah, oh, these are hollow. So hollow brushes are really cool. Um, they have this neat um, effect on them. You just got back from a long day at work. I am doing okay. I am trying to fix CSP. Uh, well, I guess I have these already in here. I guess we can add them and delete them because I don't know how else to get rid of them. We're just uh, we add them, so we're going to delete them. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade because the align the text alignment tools are better and that's coming out in April. Uh, the problem is I had to reset my computer on Thursday and my a lot of my profiles didn't properly save so I'm having to redo my CSP loadout. <laughs> uh, which is what we're doing t today right now as we're watching me <laughs> try and fix it. Looks like I have these in here too. Yeah. I'm trying to remember which brushes I do and don't have because I think some of these I do have already installed. Um. Where are they? Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to do that and I just obviously don't know it. Here's the backgrounds I was looking for. And then while we're at it, I'll see if I can get this guy back in. Maybe I take, okay, never mind. You know what? We will go back to the stars. Add the stars in. Look, I guess I'll go. Oh. I know, I wish there's a way you could like right click 
remove duplicate brushes, but I also like that you can duplicate brushes and have them in multiple places, so I can have my favorite brushes um, in my favorite brush section, but also back down with everything else that should be categorized with. Um, here of pearls. Add those. what this is. I, think, I know these are ribbon brushes, but I can't remember if there's jewelry or something else. So I did download a bunch of jewelry brushes. Let me see. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be a jewelry brush. These are... These are stars. Call this? What would this be called? I feel like it needs to go up in here, though. And we'll add actual like ribbons and jewelry stuff in here. I downloaded a bunch of um, ribbons, pearls, and antique frame brushes because someday I would really like to do a series of like frame Lolita art. I don't know when I'll ever get around to it, but. That's what, that was my idea. <laughs> oh, you know, it should go in. Alright, let's move these back really quick. are I think these are also I think these are also necklace brushes or are they frames no I think they're 
is a help that I can't read Korean. <laughs> or Chinese, or Japanese. You're right, it is whatever I want it to be. I believe this, though, is for a frame. These are also like sparkly. But they're a different kind of sparkle brush. So we'll put them in with the sparkles. I need more uh, heart brushes. Hello. There's some star brushes. I want to move over to the halo section. is supposed to be Hope you guys are enjoying my very exciting stream. <laughs> that is not showing up anything. What, 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 why is it not showing anything? I 
Why, why are these supposed to... Where's the... Guys, where's the... Why isn't this putting anything down? <laughs> Guys, nothing's coming... Nothing's being put down. I'm so confused. Um... Okay... You had to put... Okay... What is going on? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. You can only put it on a layer that has something on it. Hang on. Oh no. Yeah, I don't like that. Um... I didn't think that's how they worked. Okay, that's not... That's not gonna work for me. We're gonna delete these. Okay, well that was fun. Let's see how these rough brushes are. I'll put them here. Oops. I I'm not sure if they're supposed to work that way. Um I I don't want them to work that way, so that will not be good for me. Let's see what this does. I'm not sure if I'm fan of that. Could be okay as a texture. I think it's supposed to be a watercolor brush. get behind this one. Maybe. I don't know if I really like. I think those are no-goes for me too. I know I have the reject brush list. I'm just deleting them. Oh, that's right. I had these, uh, floors that I wanted to try out. Why is it just called Blurred? Is 
put rainbow here. I have two rainbows? Put this with the sparkles and then floor tiles. Floors. Of course, if there's something you guys see that you want, like, a specific ID number for to download yourself, let me know. Um, to bring... These... Back. So these are the um, color selection. Uh, I have the lasso version and then I downloaded the brush version which costs Clippy, but like, I love it. <laughs> it's some of my favorite brushes. Uh, I don't even want to really call them brushes because like, okay, let's test out whatever these are, and then we'll move them around appropriately. I don't want to call them brushes. I mean, they behave like a brush, which is what I wanted. It's really nice to have that kind of control, but they're more like masking tools. What is this? I'm not sure if I like that either. Hmm. Oh, oh, this this definitely reminds me of the eighties.
Boah. Sparkles. Uh, which I believe. Yeah. We go here. More sparkles go here. Sparkles are very important. It looks like this one's a colored sparkle brush, which is great. What is this? Uh. Oh, you can barely see whatever that is. What is this? Useful for. What would that be useful for? Am I missing? Is I missing something here? What would it be useful for? Here's a firebrush, though. That's neat. Oh, I think that's supposed to go with the firebrush. out. And then we have um, lace brushes. Oh, Tarkin, Tarkin's up. Okay, hang on. Let me take him potty really quick. I'll be right back.
Okay. Tarkin has done his thing. Okay. We're adding, we added the lace brushes. What else do we have here? We have, looks like we have pearls, some chains, and robes. back and add the pearls here. That's not pearl. 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 These are pearls. down in here. So I think I have all of these already downloaded. Yeah. So let's, I'm going to put them in the program so I can delete them. I think is up to this point. Yeah, I think it's up to that. Oh, two more stars. What are you going to do when you get to a hundred stars? I just have this feeling if I actually get the gotcha going the way I want it to. That you're just gonna come in and drop like a hundred thousand points and get everything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Set stupid goals for myself. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's perfectly fair, really. While we're waiting for these brushes to load, I will show you um, my Christmas candy, the candy that I've been eating and torturing myself with. This one's peppermint. I actually do like it. That, yes, that candy. It is very pretty, which is why I bought it. Um, this one though this one's the licorice one which i was like you know it it's pretty much one of my favorite colors and i put it in my mouth and i was like oh that's less exciting Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed licorice either. I thought maybe it'd be like, um, uh, since old fashioned candy, I was thinking, oh, what's it called? Current, black current. Oh, I remember these salmon brushes and not liking them. Uh, and like I told you guys in chat, like I'm not really opposed to licorice ones. I just, um, don't want to eat them that often. So 
So, you know. And then I, I hate spearmint. <laughs> so that was awful when I discovered the spearmint brush it or the spearmint candy. I mean, I knew it was in there, but it came in two different colors. <laughs> Bye. Kids gotta say good night. I hate, I hate spearmint. Okay, I think these are some new brushes we can test out here. Hi, Tarkin! Tarkin, you wanna come say hi? Do you wanna come say hi to everyone? Are you... what are you doing? Tarkin, what are you doing? Ooh! Kind of like this. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's. Okay, you want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? You don't have to. He's looking very suspiciously at me. You don't, you want, you don't want to come? You don't have to. I'll give you a neck scourge. But you're not getting any treats though. So like, I'm not coming over there. These should actually be put in the watercolor brush area. Interesting, that one picked up some of the white. Blending.
and a canvas out. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that either. Brush line. brushes that you can't color. There we go. This could be... I might... That's yeah, no. It's like I don't know if that's better than the brushes I have, and yeah. Try some of these down here. What is? I'm not sure I'd ever use. I mean, I know people like these brushes for other things. I'm just not sure I'd ever use it. I know it has its place too, because I've watched a lot of um, landscape artwork using the rake brushes. It just never really seems like a me thing to do yet. Like, maybe someday I'll learn how. Oh, I like that smudger though. Let's keep that. This is not different than. These ones got missed. We'll add these and check them out. So yeah, pretty much when I'm trying out new brushes, I just sit here. And now, I should, to give some of these brushes a fair chance, actually try to use them for something. Interesting. That has a running edge. It has a watercolor edge. Um, if I really want to see how well they would work, I should be drawing something with them. But like, uh, I don't think of 
digital brushes in the same way as um, I would traditional art in that sense. Also, I have a hard time wrapping my head around that. <laughs> Um, it's be mostly because I don't do a painterly style, so if the brush, when I try it out, doesn't really do what I would like it to do or what I think would be helpful for me, I don't, I don't know what I would draw with it to change my mind, <laughs> basically. This is fabric. So here. And then we have <clears throat> bubbles, because I was thinking about when I was doing my mermaid drawing, I should have a bubble brush. So I, I downloaded a bubble brush. I'm just going to put these all in here. And then we have these brushes. To try out. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I don't like that. No. Eh, what is this supposed to do? You just put a... I think it just puts a... Hmm. Just puts a texture on, okay. This is an overlay texture. This is supposed to be static. I thought that would be helpful for something, but I don't know what yet. Where should I put that? Should be like with the airbrushing, maybe?
and then a line, line pen. Maybe not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, and then we have more lace. I tell you guys, I really, really got into the lace there. I'm gonna use it someday. Someday. We're almost, almost done. Um, almost done. But again, if you guys have questions about the brushes, or you want me to pull out certain ones again, or you want the IDs, welcome back. I, I am going to be adding more sparkles here in a minute. So these are um, Japanese uh, fabric tone brushes, so patterns, Japanese patterns, fabric tone brushes, they're patterns. <laughs> um, I don't even remember why I downloaded them, what I was going to use them for, but I have them. I have them. Um, maybe I was gonna draw kimono or something and I downloaded them. <laughs> I don't know. heart and then we have star this acts a little bit more like a halo so add it there and then these I'm not even sure where are these like oh that's a star Sparkles, hearts, these are bubbles. Now that I think about it, let's these are like legit bubbles. Never mind. I'll just leave them there. Okay, and then we have more. Japanese um, screen tones here. Actually, let's put them under screen tones because that's what they are.
Yeah, then we have an X. What are these? A lot more. Looks like you have more halos. There. This is supposed to be... Hair shine. This is supposed to be hair shines? I don't remember what I downloaded these for. Okay, so these are supposed to be hair fade brushes. sparkles and then I'm gonna put them here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. Though I feel like... I feel like your yarn has probably more practical use than whatever I'm doing here. This is fire. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like your brushes do a lot more than what mine does. Or not your brushes, sorry, your yarn. I feel like you can look at your yarn and like know what you're going to do with it. And I think also looking at it is aesthetically pleasing and I feel like brush hoarding is just like... Well, that's what you can tell yourself. Um, and it's okay to lie to yourself. <laughs> I won't tell. I do get really comfortable with the same brushes over and over. I'd like to try using other things. Oh. <laughs> okay, these are a bunch of blenders I wanted to try out. Oh, so let me see if I can get back to it. So this is just the shape, the brush shape that they gave for it. Um, and then... It does this prism effect and there's actually quite a few different ones in here. Yeah, pretty much confetti. Okay, so let's get two colors in here. Mm, smudge blur. 
Ooh. That's kind of crap. Crunchy blender. It's only work if you, this one only works if you have a color that isn't transparent selected. I don't know if I like that one either. Ah, that might be too much blend. And then we have these, these last two. Let's see what they do. Uh, they're just airbrushes. They're just, they're just airbrushes. <laughs> I think it's that's how we're gonna end it with just these airbrushes. <laughs> uh, I think that that does it though. That is, um, everything's set up. Did you have questions though? Or did anyone have questions about any of the brushes or my current uh, loadout, anything like that. You notice pink chin. That oh, could be over here a bit more. Yeah, um, I think we'll go ahead and end it there. Like, they're all in. Hopefully, I have everything that I'm missing and I didn't uh, miss something else. Um, I am going to go fix my management app <laughs> after this. I'm very upset that I didn't save, like, anything. Uh,. I should check Twitter because I know there's been a couple of times that I screenshot like my to-do list on there. So I think that'll help me, but... Anyway guys, thanks so much for coming by. Um... Yeah, thanks for coming by. Two oh wait, wait, Tarkin! Yay! Turkin's here! Yeah? He doesn't look very pleased, does he? Turkin! Turkin! Yeah, hi! He's like, man, what? Yeah! I promised you a next scritch, so here you go. You know, he's got this cough wheeze going on now because he's old. So yeah, you're old, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know. Can you say bye-bye to everyone? Can you say bye-bye? We're going to end the stream. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? <laughs> 
Okay, bye bye. Oh, I'm gonna go bye bye now. Okay. Do you want dinner? Getting close to your dinner time. I'm gonna go get you dinner. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end stream there. Uh, Tuesday is a drawing stream. We're gonna do Snaggle's request, which is Megara as Paul Blart. <laughs> I can, I think I can already see it in my head how that's going to go. Um, and then after we finish that, uh, probably going to work on Sailor Vegeta. Um, if not, I might work on the epilogue drawing for Rocks in Space, because uh, I'd like to get that done. I know I should finish Toon Maker Sailor Moon, um, even though Samus and I are both like, <laughs> Uh, Harry feels like I should finish it, but then I'm afraid if I finish it, she'll feel bad about and want to finish the pick. And I'm like, you should just rest. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Uh, pray that nothing happens to my computer between now and Tuesday, guys. <laughs> like, or nothing happens to me between now and Tuesday. I don't know. This like. 2023 is not going too well. Yeah, she should rest. Um, I just, I would like to finish it. I just don't want to, I don't want her to feel pressured into having to finish her fic, so. We shall see how it goes. Anyway, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for coming by. Bye!